Hi guys, my name is Lydia. My podcast is dedicated to people who have been through some hardships, who want to be uplifted through faith, and who want to self-develop. Um, okay, um, today's topic uh, came at me a couple of days ago. I was um, watching this um, cartoon, you know, it was it was just passing through on television, and it's called Little Red Riding Hood. Now, I don't know for English speakers if they know it well, but in, in French, it's really well known, actually. Um, and, you know, I was watching it pass on television, and, oh boy, it, it reminded me of the covert narcissist. <laughs> it really did, because, see... Um, this little girl, it's the story of this little girl and she, she's walking through the forest um, and she's trying to bring cookies to her sick grandmother's house, right? And there's this wolf that keeps following her and he's trying to, um, he's trying to ask her questions and he's trying to befriend her and he's trying to get information from her to get her to come further into the woods so that he could eat her. Now, she responded to him in a way in a way where he actually didn't get his way with her in the wood, but he did hear her say that th- there was this, you know, little house at the end of the woods where her grandmother lived. And so he went before her to her grandmother's house, ate the grandmother, Uh, and then dressed as the grandmother, he went into the bed and he waited for her, for her, you know? And then when she came in, uh, she was confused because she thought, you know, it was her grandmother waiting for her in the bed, but then she started to see his, you know, his, um, his teeth, you know, and she started to see that it was the wolf. Anyway, um, that cartoon is, is a good representation of the covert narcissist. Um, a lot of covert narcissists are great at hiding who they are for years. You could be convinced that they're good people. You could be convinced that, um, they're the types of people that you can trust. You could be convinced that they are your friends. They are your, um, family member and whatnot. But the reality of it is a lot of them aren't aren't exactly good people you know they're they're here to take from you they're here to destroy you if they could they would like to take you out and I know a lot of people might not believe that that level of evil exists but it really does it really really does the covert narcissists are very dangerous people they're very dangerous people and the 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 reason why they're so dangerous is because they look nice they look like they're very peaceful people um a covert narcissist is going to criticize you but when they criticize you they're going to mask the criticism as concern and so in front of other people it looks like they're just a good person who's concerned for you um they're going to put you in situations where they're going to make you look like the bad person because they're going to um, point out a certain flaw, for example. And, but then they're going to say, oh, I mean, I'm so concerned. You seem to have memory issues, darling. You know, <laughs> um, you seem to have memory issues. You know, they're going to, for example, gla- gaslight you by misplacing certain things in the household if you're living with them. Or they're going to, if you're a friend, for if, if they're a friend, um, they're going to say certain things that are aggravating to you in private. And then when you are in front of people, now you're aggravated and you might react badly. And then people are going to see you react badly, right? Um they're very sneaky in the sense that if you tell them something about your life that um, is hurtful to you, let's say, for example, you tell them you don't like red cars because maybe you had a brother who died in a red car. And ever since then, when you see red cars, 
you just don't like it you know what i mean and this person might be your spouse for example well the next time that you are uh, in a party with friends for example they're going it might be your birthday for example right they're going to show up in a red car and they're going to tell you this is your gift for your birthday now other people don't know what just happened but you know what happened you know that for you the red car is a trigger you don't like red cars and if you misbehave in front of people people are going to think that you are the crazy one because it's like wait a minute this is a great spouse they just brought bought you a car like why are you acting badly but you know why you acted badly and they do those types of things all the time and on purpose you know uh, if you give them some type of vulnerability you best believe they're going to use it against you um, and it doesn't stop just at little jabs and digs it could go as far as them actually wanting to claim your life yeah because the envy and the jealousy is real with these types of people and you really need to be careful you know um in the story you know of the little red riding hood as soon as she gave him uh the address you know of her grandmother's house he ran there you know that's what covert narcissists will do you know they get information out of you and for you you're thinking oh this is nothing you know this is some little information that is not that important for this person to have but whatever information they can get from you and that could be your downfall they get it from you they run with it and before you know it you know they 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 they're trying to destroy you with it yeah that's what happens a lot of times you know so be careful be careful of these types they have a very predatory mind you know they don't have a normal mind they have what we call a reptilian mind they scan for vulnerability when they meet you they scan to see what it is they could use against you and then little by little they will chip away at your self-esteem they will want to make you doubt yourself and a lot of them they are um yeah they're very cunning and very manipulative they will try to turn other people against you little by little you know um at the end of the day you guys know who you can trust and who you cannot trust because your intuition will tell you especially when you're a praying person your intuition will tell you what type of person you can trust and what type of person doesn't deserve to be told really anything that is of substance about your life you know it already yeah so trust your intuition and know who you can confide in and who you can't who you can tell certain things to and who you can't you already know you guys have good at intuition and for those who do not have the intuition yet start praying start praying and Allah is going to protect you okay so be careful of these types they are very very widespread these days um you know we're living in our last days so people are not who they are cracked up to be and they're going to show you your tr- their true colors too you know you're going to see it from time to time and so if that has happened thank god that they showed you who they are because now you know how to deal with it accordingly yeah so protect yourselves um keep certain things between you and Allah or in your very close knit family and you're going to be just fine okay you're going to be just fine i love you guys protect yourselves out there and um keep going guys and keep strong keep prayers in your you know keep praying um and keep um keep moving forward okay i love you guys i will see you in the next episode uh subscribe to my channel i love you bye bye